Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Every OS sucks. It does. Um, OS X sucks. Every version of Linux sucks. Uh, and, and Windows sucks. And not to mention BOS, that sucks. Um, every OS sucks. Every one of them. So uh, there are ways that these OSs could be made better. If you had one thing that you would like to see changed in Microsoft Windows, what would it be? Microsoft Windows only. Okay, we're not hating on it. We, we like Windows as much as we like any other operating system at Locker Gnome. No doubt about that. Well, at least certain versions of Windows. If you had anything to change, what would it be? We've got an article uh, with five changes that we believe would make Windows better. I'm going to go ahead and open that link. It's in the description. And while I'm visiting LockerGnome.com there on the article, I'm going to plus one it, tweet it, like it on Facebook. Hopefully you're doing the same. Uh, so one of the features that we would like to see built in to Windows, and I, I think a lot of people would agree with me on this one, uh, expanded customization for the UI. Back when I was using uh, Windows XP as my primary operating system, that was a long time ago, um, the Windows XP is probably older than half my audience. Uh, you got what you got. You either had classic mode or the crappy Luna interface. Ugh nasty. But Stardock had software, and I, I believe it's still around, uh, called Window Blinds, and you could customize the, the look and feel of Windows. Uh, but it was clunky. Uh, it, it wasn't very well optimized. It was kind of slowed down the Windows experience in general, not because of Stardock, but largely because of limitations of the operating system in changing the customization. I would like to see a day where the Windows user experience could be customized down to a granular level. And I mean, sure, you know, the average user probably doesn't care, but wouldn't you love to have that baked in? I don't just, I'm not talking about just changing the colors, right? Uh, changing the positioning of elements or the colors of elements or the size of elements or how Chrome, the, the Chrome, not Google Chrome, the Chrome of Windows looks. Uh, it would be nice to have that baked in. And I think that would potentially make Windows better because some people may not like the way Windows looks and feels. Uh, one thing that uh, you know, we would certainly like to see as well, uh, baked in, and I think this would uh, really benefit everybody. Uh, and this is in the article, and there are five total points, but this is the last one I'm going to make in the video, and you're free to, to read and, and make your own suggestions beyond. Uh, make killing unnecessary tasks easy. Wouldn't it be nice to, uh, instead of having to fire uh, open the, uh, fire open, fire up, fire open, the uh, task manager and killing a process that you didn't know what, you know, what does this process do? Oh, there, I've got to reinstall Windows. I killed the wrong process. Or thinking to yourself, well, I know I'm not using this part of Windows. Why do I need to be running the media center software in the background? Why, why, do, why is this service running? They don't make it easy. You've got to do a lot of troubleshooting, and you, you kind of got to know what you're killing off in the background uh, to know that you're not going to damage Windows at all. It would be nice to have, in let's just say, in a wizard-esque experience, and not to say that you may be a fan of wizards. Lord knows they've done them well and they've done them poorly in the past. But just to kind of go through and audit, hey, you're not using a lot of this software. Do you want to be running these processes? Well, we'll and, and Windows could say, we'll open them if you need them, but we could probably save you some memory by killing off these processes until you do need them. Uh, or, hey, here's a random process that, uh, you know, you installed some software that you haven't used in seven months and the process is running in the background. Um, you probably don't need to be running it. Now, there are... Plenty of third-party utilities that, that can do either one of these suggestions that I make. But I'm not talking about third parties, okay, people? I'm talking about baked in as a part of the experience that everybody gets. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to download third-party software, whether it was free or paid, okay? Having it baked in. What would you bake into Windows to make it better, honestly? Uh... Uh, for the win, much says built-in Microsoft Security Essentials. I do recommend that. Although the reason they probably don't have that baked in is because there are a lot of malware or anti-malware company, well, a lot of both, 
uh, companies out there that would be in the same space as uh, Security Essentials. So by bundling that together, it could get them in some hot water, at least here in the United States, and I'm sure in other parts of the world as well. Hardware built to work with the software. OJ Mar, yeah, Windows does its best with what it has, and it, it's getting better with time, but something more tangible than that. That's a bit unwieldy. Give me something specific. Uh, I would bake server options within the home editions. That's probably not going to happen because Microsoft has to make money with licensing. And honestly, why would the home edition user want to use server options? Probably not going to happen, at least today. Uh, what about the Linux people who use Linux computers, says H 95 Well, if you want to see that, we'll do it in another video. This one's about Windows, though. Productivity apps. I would love to see more productivity apps baked into Windows. Uh, and that was from Bob Life Gosen. One, two, three, four. Leave your suggestions uh, somewhere in the comments thread. Or, and, I've said ors, and on the article that we've linked for you in the description on LockerGnome.com.